Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I'm Gray, and today we have another Finnish Premier League match for you today. Um, a couple things to get updated before we dive right into this. I uploaded a new i a little new logo pack. Um, so some of these icons have changed a little bit. Um, I believe like FC Jazz, yeah, that one changed. Um, so I got a new 2015 updated icon pack um i did upload like another uh, another face gen pack as well so some of the new gens um will have different hair some slightly different facial features shit like that so um but that's probably not anything we will get into or see much of um the only difference is like Schober. like did he change yeah i think he did his hair changed so any of the new gens like him um We'll have a uh, different faces, or not necessarily different faces, but you know, a little bit different hair. His hair changed, I think, a little bit, but not a big deal. Let's check out some. Oh, look, he's got a big old curly fro now. Sweet. Anyhow, all right. So, yeah, yeah. So Monsalva's away on international duty. I forgot about that. Um, we'll go with the little, the little generated guy. Um. Let's see. Take a look at everybody. I think we're pretty much good to go. Granholm. I think we'll transition Saxola in um, as a substitute at some point. Because you really can't trust him to go fucking... Oh, Suisi looks different now. Um, really can't trust him to go uh, 45 minutes. So, that's that. Um, oh yeah, I like the icon for the league changed and all that shit, so new like i said just all new updated shit i hadn't um the 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 icon pack that i was using from was from 2012 so it was a little uh just a tad outdated not terribly so there's just uh with this new logo pack there's just ones that are like added in that i didn't have previously that's really the reason why i really wasn't necessarily um all that concerned about um having new stuff like updated ones i really don't care all that much um what i was really looking forward to was having some clubs that were missing already and stuff like that um added in so that's why i went and downloaded that um uh, let's see uh there's any um oh um one thing to kind of update you guys on is um i think the next time, I think when FM 2016 comes out, I think this is the plan. When FM 2016 comes out, we are going to, um, I think, start a new LP of this. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, something I've never done before. I'm going to step out of the European Champions League, step out of UEFA, and play in a different confederation, basically. And what we're going to do is play in um, Asia. I've wanted to play as a Japanese and or um, Chinese club forever. And um, some of the mods and stuff, not really mods, but some of the um, uh, like databases and shit that you can download. A lot of people have um, uploaded that stuff. Um, ooh, nice replica already. Um, because the reason why they don't have leagues, specifically the J-League and all the Japanese leagues, is they don't have licensing for them. However, they are in the game. They just don't have license to make them playable, I guess. I don't know specifically where the licensing issues are with, um, Sports Interactive and the J-League and all that stuff. I don't know where those necessarily fall. However, um, through the use of mods, basically you just go in and add them as a playable, um, competition and shit in the database it's real simple stuff um the problem is in order to um make those playable um we have to go and start from scratch start a brand new save uh, and on this and in this particular case back in was it 2013 is when this game starts i think or 2014 so you have to start a brand new save file um like I said, I think we'll just continue with this until um, FM 2016 comes out and there's someone who's already gone and 
added all that shit because I just don't want to go through and do all the work, quite honestly. I'm lazy. You should know that by now. Um, as I've said before, I've always wanted to play in Japan specifically for some dumb reason. I don't know why. And in fact, on my on my save file, I've actually um, added because um, you can add you can add playable leagues um, that the game has licenses for during the course of the during the course of your um, your save file. You don't have to start over from scratch if you want to open up, you know, like Austria or Hungary, and you want to manage a club there. You can do that, and that's what I've done with my um, Golden United career. I've went and added um, Hong Kong, China, and um, South Korea um, as playable leagues. Like I said, I would have added Japan because I really want to play in Japan. But like I said, I would have to start over from scratch and just add them in as, in the database. Do some database editing. Jesus, Ose is on a tear. This is what I was hoping to get from him. Putting him in his position too. I mean, he's got all the talent to score those goals. Maybe this is a sign of things to come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, um, like I said, that's where I think we'll um we'll take the uh, this LP in particular because I really want to continue this sort of shit. Like I said, uh, football manager is something I kind of play all the time. Although I haven't been able been able been playing it the last two weeks because I've kind of been on a a Final Fantasy binge. So yeah, that's kind of um. Although I did, like I said, I did. Um, while I was playing Final Fantasy last night, download the new um, a new logo pack for this stuff, and that's one thing that's really cool is you can download logo packs for 2015. In case you're wondering, you know, and face gen packs for 2015 and upload them into your older game. At least FM 2014. Oh Jesus! I'll say with the all oh, the hat trick. Jesus, hat trick inside of 20 minutes for I'll say wonderful shit. Happy to see that. But anyhow, um, so those are kind of backwards compatible. Like I said, I was using a logo pack from 2012 um, still. I mean, you just kind of dump them into the right folder, and you can get on the internet and find out. It's pretty easy how to install those, quite honestly, if you're wondering. Because they don't have, once again, they don't somehow they don't have licenses to put all the the iconography basically in the game, which is fucking weird. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's just... That they don't have license. I assume that's what it is, or they don't have uh, the resources to put all those images in there. Although those images, when you download them and stuff, really aren't well. Actually, the logo pack I was gonna say the the logo pack is four gigs. The new one I downloaded was four gigs, pretty big actually. Um, and the other one I had was like two and a half. The old one I had, so there's a lot more content. Like I said, I, I I opened up the Chinese leagues on my on my Goma United career and uh, and um, a lot of the clubs, not a lot, but a good good chunk of the clubs were missing um, their badges and stuff. So I just went and grabbed an updated um, logo pack in hopes that they uh, had more of the Chinese and Asian leagues, and they did so. Which is, like I said, a good majority of what I was missing. There are a few things here and there. But, um, yeah. So, that's what I've been doing the last couple of days with this game in particular. And, like I said, that's where I decided, you know, to take this LP specifically. When FM 2016 comes out, I'm not hoping it's a lot better. Than uh, than FM15, FM15's match engine and everything was kind of crap. A lot of people still play it, but I didn't. I didn't really care for it. I didn't like it all that much. Hopefully, 2016 is better. I'm just a hoping. But um, and uh, I should also mention that we're not gonna play that LP. Like the second FM16 hits, we're not gonna load that shit up. Um, usually because, you know, like I said, logo packs and stuff like that got to get loaded into the game. Although ours, like I said, I can just copy and paste those into that folder and we're good to go. Um, face gen packs probably actually might be able to use some of the face gen packs because I have like an FM14 and an FM15 face gen pack kind of uh, tossed into my my game right now. Um, I don't. No, I don't think there's any issues that could arise, any any uh, crashing or anything like that. I don't think. Here's the hoping. 
but um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much like I said where we're at and where this LP will go from here. So like I said, you'll have to wait a little bit, and 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 in quite honest, in all honesty, usually FM16 comes out in like October, early November, something like that, like the Football Manager games. So um, what will happen then is. I usually wait till after the January transfer window when all that shit obviously is updated. They've put in relatively big patches into the game by then to fix some shit. Um, so, yeah. That's probably when you should expect to see a new um, career. Uh, like I said, we'll retire this one. I'll try and get to a point like at the end of a season instead of just like giving up halfway through the season and we'll just kind of drop it there and um like i said and retire this lp and then move on to fm16 but that won't be until probably february i think um like i said that's when the patches usually come out and the summer transfer went or summer <laughs> the january transfer window update is logged into the loaded into the game although we are going to just do um i am going to have it generate all the characters all the players and shit basically what happens is it just like all the players, like basically Lionel Messi will still be in the game. His name and all that shit will be just changed. Like, it won't change the landscape of football at all. Like, I mean, it's not going to make Barcelona or Bayern Munich shit or anything. It's just going to change the names and make it more, just make it different. And I kind of feel more comfortable with that, doing that on an LP. You know, um, just because, you know, a, a lot of the people... Not a lot of the people. The people that are in the game, I mean, are real. I mean, you know, just saying. Um, and, and just to avoid hurting anyone's. I mean, like I said, I kind of feel bad if, like, you know, one of the players who happens to be on our team, you know, happens to run across this, although the odds are incredibly unlikely. You know, but I mean, you know, I don't want to be like, this guy's complete shit, and then, you know, have that real person actually, you know, show up, watch the... LP or anything like that, I would feel bad. Like I said, I know the odds of such a thing happening are slim to none, but my conscience kind of uh, kind of gets at me, and I feel like an asshole when I do that. So, like I said, for the purpose of anonymity, and you know, just so that the game is quite honestly more fun, which I believe it is, when you have nothing but a bunch of new gen characters, new gen players, and stuff like that, I enjoy that a lot more. I don't know why, I just... I just feel like being in that fantastical universe is a little more entertaining than being in the real world with real players. You know what I mean? Like, it feels too much like FIFA or something like that. And I don't play FIFA or anything like that anymore. I'm not really into those things. And I've played plenty of it. It's just one of those things where I'm kind of beyond that. I'm, I've moved past that, and I don't want to. I don't want to do that anymore. So... And having a bunch of new gen players and actually changing the, you know, landscape of European football and stuff is more fun with uh, new gens. So, like I said, we'll we'll definitely do that because that that is more appropriate, I think, for an LP. Like I said, don't want to be an asshole, and I feel like I am sometimes, especially when I'm like, this guy fucking sucks. And you know, like I said, I'd be more liberal with that shit too if uh, you know there. They were our, uh, our shitty new gens, you know, or something like that, which we do have a good, a good majority of now, and that's usually something, like I said, I usually, I usually go and make an emphasis on, um, bringing in new gens anyway, just because I, it's, like I said, I have a youth policy when it comes to, you know, I concentrate on youth when it comes to my transfers, so all my transfers will likely be new gens, so there's that, um, Although, of course, I say that, and yet I treat these new gens as if they are real people sometimes when I talk about them. It's weird. It is, it is very weird. Ooh, shit. And that was, uh, frightening there. Um, although I, I will admit, um, when I do play, uh, FM16, I will most likely change, um, some of the regen values. Oh, fuck. God damn it, really? 
I fucking hate when it does. It's like everything's going right and it has to find some way to dick you. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, well, everything's going fine for you. Let's give you fucking injuries. So you have to go put someone else out there. And then concede a goal or two and make it interesting. Yeah. Let's do that. Fucking game. Anyhow, um... Uh, fuck. Where was I going? I was saying something important. Fuck it. I don't remember what it is. So. Anyway. Oh. Changing, uh, the, re the regens. Um, like I said, I will change that. Oh my god. Ose is on a fucking tear. Four goals in the first half. Jesus. This guy's a monster. That's what I was really hoping to get out of him. Like I said, with his attributes, the way they're distributed, I, 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 they're really, they're really good for his position because he's kind of like this. Like I said, the way the way that central midfielder attacks is more of this, like this, pacey, um, you know, like basically pace and finishing is what you'd really like to see out of that position. And he's got the finishing and a decent amount of pace, if I remember right. Let's check, because if I remember. Right, yeah, he's got decent pace for this league. I mean, pretty good finishing. It's one of those things where, you know, you got those and you're going to exploit holes in the defense. Oh, my God. Our youth goalkeeper is fucking kicking ass. Made two monster saves right there. But, um... Yeah, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, changing. Oh, I am going to go change. Like I said, I am going to go change some of the um, the the new gen uh, things. Uh, Hananen, that's what I want to put out there for Ose. Take him off, first half. Um, I am going to do that because um, it's just one of those things where I've played this game enough where you just get tired. Like I said, I mean, football is kind of cyclical. You will see golden generations come out of of certain youth systems and countries and shit like that. Um, it's just that's just the way it is, and I I like to vary it up a little bit. I like to have some variety. I don't like having to consistently go to Brazil to get the best players, and and that's something too. There's there's a two pronged attack when it comes to generating new gens quality new gens like number one you have to have the clubs and the recruiting and all that shit you have to have all the cl club structure so basically what i'm saying is if there's no club structure there but the regen um the the new gen rating is high they're still not gonna oh, jesus they're still not gonna create very many jesus homa congas is he, he might be a starting goalkeeper from now on jesus But, uh, you know, so, like I said, so unless there's, you know, like, kind of like I said, I, I reduced Spain's on my, on my, um, Galway United career, I reduced Spain's region factor, and the same thing with Brazil, and they still create pretty good players, and maybe not as many of them at any given time, where basically a whole new breed of players are just all Brazilian, you know, you maybe, maybe won't get as much of that, but, you know, You'll still get a, a couple, you know, two or three usually every year that are pretty decent, you know, really good players and shit like that. So you're gonna get, you're gonna get that continuously. So um, I'm not, I don't feel too bad about changing that so that countries like Finland and you know other countries can have a chance at you know creating some world class players. I don't feel that bad about doing that. So like I said, I mean, if the club structure isn't there. That still does not guarantee that that country is going to produce, you know, great footballers in large quantities every year. So, like I said, it's not it's not too terrible. You just give it, you just give yourself a higher chance of that, and then every once in a while, you know, you still have that chance of getting that wonder kid or whatever you will. That's one thing that kind of irritates me. Oh my God, Oyala, Jesus, that was gorgeous setup there. But you used to have that chance, like I said, of, of creating, you know. Actually, yeah, I'm going to rephrase that. 
uh, with without changing some of those god damn it really without changing some of those countries that don't produce a whole lot of great footballers you don't have that shot at creating a fucking wonder kit and that's the one thing that i just want i just want every country to have a decent chance of creating a wonder kid i mean why not like i said i like the variety i just do i mean i like i like that you know variety i like having wonder kids come from obscure countries i don't like every world-class wonder kid footballer to always come from uh to always come from spain or whatever i mean don't get me wrong they have great youth setups and there's a reason why they produce a large number of great players but it just gets it just gets a little old after a while having the same, like I said, just having the same countries produce, you know, them all the time. And that's really what I want. I just try to promote variety in the game, you know. I mean, like I said, especially if you're going to play, you know, in other countries and stuff like that, you know, small, obscure countries, you know, it's nice to have some. Oh, Jesus. How is he on sides? Thank you. Jesus. It's hard to. It's hard to be motivated sometimes when you play like a small, like I said, when you play as Ireland or as an Irish club and you have, um, you know, you have a world-class club and you've got all the recruiting shit, but because your region number is relatively low, you're never going to create those guys. And it's kind of, you know, in, in-house at least, and it's kind of bullshit in my opinion. So, now, like I said, that's just me. I like to have a little variety. That's really what I try to promote. I don't try to give any one country a leg up or stifle any country's, you know, player regen rate or anything like that or be mean. I just try to have a little bit more variety. I mean, come on, it's a fucking video game. You know what I mean? Like, it's a goddamn video game. Let's have a little bit of a little bit of fun with it at least, right? So, like I said, I'll do that. You probably won't really notice any difference, quite honestly. At least not for a while. It'll be a while before any real difference, you know, shows up. And quite honestly, like, even even with this save file, I mean, it'd still be a good 10 years before we create, you know, before we are able to gen a decent, you know, I mean, we're talking like, you know, Barcelona-worthy player. I mean... It takes a while, so it's not like, like I said, it's not like all of a sudden instantaneously, you know, Finland will start creating the best footballers in the world and be a footballing mecca or anything like that. No, that's not going to happen. God damn, are you fucking kidding me? This is fucking bullshit. I mean, like, fucking serious. I'm getting so fucking tired of this shit. God damn it. Now we have to fucking play a man down for the rest of the goddamn game. God. Fuck you. Fucking cheating piece of shit. See, and that's the reason why I don't feel bad about changing all that shit. Because the game will fucking do this shit to you. Just like, fucking seriously. I mean, come on. This is fucking bullshit. I mean, and that's the thing too. It's not like I used any of my, my um, my uh. It's not like I used any of my subs too early or anything. I used one of them on an injury, one of them on a person with a car, which I thought was appropriate considering he did bag four fucking goals for us. I mean, shit. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking, you know, let him go out there with four goals and ruin his wonderful fucking day by getting a second yellow and just going down a man then but no instead we get fucking three injuries two of which must come off and the third I took off as a precaution so I try to do the right thing and I get fucking screwed for it that's the shit that's irritating at least our fucking defending is pretty good today well scratch that at least our defending generally is decent Jesus Christ, Ramasaha. What the hell is your problem? I do need to go through and change. Jesus, what a fucking keeper. God damn. Should be our fucking man of the match. I did change. I should change this. That's what I do need to go change. I, I did change that on my... On, on a couple other clubs that I was running in. It's, it's pretty helpful. Um, And I probably will do that here just to save on the cards and the suspensions because that's probably a wise idea at this point considering we're not a super deep team. 
Um, oh, Hananen, you have every chance in the world here. And you score. Yeah, fuck you, Rops. You motherfuckers. And injuring everyone. Like fucking people, you fucking bastards. Fuck you. That is one thing um, some people really want, and I have to jump on board with some changes that people want for uh, FM16. Dynamic, as they call them, dynamic rivalries, which I'm totally on board with. However, the problem is if you are playing a lower league team and you start dominating everyone in your league, like, once again, you have a smaller league like Ireland, or this one, and you just get to the point where you're so much bigger and better than everyone, and you just dominate everyone. There's gonna be, not really going to be much for rivalries, quite honestly. Um, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, however, if they do throw in something like that, like a dynamic, you know, rivalry, some sort of dynamic rivalry formula, it would be nice. But they'd also have to add some way for the league to get better I think quite honestly clubs in your league need to need to get better um along with you I think I mean I'm not saying they all have to you know I'm not saying they all have to be just as good and have just as you know I mean I'm okay with being the better club you know by a decent margin but I just want them to be I just they have to be good enough to promote those dynamic rivalries is what I'm saying so they have to get better so that they can potentially beat you especially if you put out like a weaker side like a youth side or something like that you know keep at, keep at least some sort of decent pace with with you but anyhow let's let's assess the fucking damage we go top again we're doing pretty good with our goals against i am going to do something while we're at it yeah, there we go. Wonderful. Two to three weeks and nine to twelve days. God damn it. Well, at least Oyala is not hurt for any long term. Um, fuck. What was I gonna do? I was gonna look at something real quick. Ah, I am gonna go in here. No, I don't want to go there. I want to go here. Still, fuck. I still have problems figuring out where in the fuck I'm going with this thing. I'm gonna go edit this and take hassle opponents off. So we don't have as many cards as fucking yeah. Now we have the fucking international players. That's fucking irritating. You know, I've never I've never dicked with that in all honesty. I've never changed that. I've never taken I've never taken players out of um international duties, so that's something new to me. Um I've never m messed with that. I know they can get pissed off at you for doing so. So I haven't really touched that. But anyhow, alright. So that does it for this episode. If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.